In this video, I'm going to show you how to display Elementor website content based on the user's IP or location, the computer they are using, the browser they are using, or specifically if they are coming from a certain website. And the beauty is that we can apply these display conditions on Elementor sections, columns, and even widgets. So if that is something that interests you, let's jump straight into the video. All right, first things first. The only thing we are going to be needing in this tutorial is Elementor and an add-on for Elementor called the Premium Add-ons for Elementor because it's the Premium Add-ons for Elementor that gives you the ability to enable the display conditions on elements, sections, or even widgets. We are going to simply just Command E and we will go straight to our plugins area. I'll open up in a new tab and under plugins, make sure that you have the Premium Add-ons for Elementor. The free version is enough for you to get started. Right, so under Premium Add-ons for Elementor, make sure that you come over here to the Global Features and make sure that the display conditions is enabled. By enabled, I mean it should be in green color. All right, so once you are done, we simply just come back over here to our Elementor editor. Over here, I have an Elementor section that I recently created in one of the tutorials. So in case you want to check out how you can create a VCAD section in your Elementor website, please check out that tutorial in the description box below. But otherwise, so we want to be able to hide this button once someone is visiting this website on a mobile device. Alright, so how do you do that? Still under Elementor, just simply come and select that widget. Once that widget is selected, simply come here to under Advanced and under Display Conditions. You see I have already added a display conditions. I'm simply hiding this element, which element, which is the button widget, on if any of the conditions is met and I have only one condition. And in this case, I'm selecting a device type. And if that person is on a small screen, which is a tablet or mobile, this button will not be visible. So when I update over here, I'll come over here to our preview. You see the button is still visible. Why? Because we are still using a bigger screen. But let's look at this on a smaller device. And now when I check this page, I'm going to scroll down. All right, we don't have the download button. I may even change to another device. Let me check that on the iPad mini. So on the iPad mini, still the button doesn't show up. So let's go and look into other interesting ways you can hide elements using the display conditions. So I have this interesting page over here open up, which is from a bakery and they are selling their cakes and cookies in different geographical locations. And so they have a specific price for a specific region. So in this case, I have US dollars over here. I have euros and i have uganda shillings here so you want that you set up that these prices only show up one that your website visitor is accessing your website from that location two they're using a specific browser so in the first place over here we have the first section if i select it i come to advanced display conditions it is showing the element if any of the conditions is met and it should be in Google Chrome. So meaning that this widget will only show for users who are accessing the website on Google Chrome. Right, when I preview this over here. All right, so you see our section shows up over here properly. Now, when you look into our editor, we have more than one section. We have this and then we have the third one. So why are the others not appearing over right here? The quick answer is we have set up different display conditions for these others. So when I select this section, I come to advanced, I come to display conditions, you realize that we are only showing this element based on an IP location and that location should be Germany. So if someone is viewing this website from Germany, that's how they will be able to access this widget. For as long as I am not in Germany or if my IP address is not pointing from Germany. Anyway, now let's go and check out this other section. So this is also not showing up over here in our preview. Reason is because obviously under the display conditions. So this widget will only show if any of these conditions are met. One of the conditions is that the person or the website visitor should be from Uganda or it can still display if that person is using the Safari browser. So you select that from over here and here you have the option of setting up which browser you want someone to view this section from. So in this case, I only chose Safari. When I come over here and uh, grab my URL for the page, I'll come here to Safari. I'll enter in my URL. I'll scroll down. 
boom we now have our section show up one because i am accessing this section from a country called uganda and the ugandan prices are showing up and at the same time i'm viewing this web page using the safari browser right so when you look in here on our safari browser you realize one section is actually missing you see one section is not showing up over here so the question is why and that section that is not showing up over here is this section this section over here so for this section we set up that for it to be viewed your website visitor should be coming from a certain url maybe coming from facebook from google or from any other url parameter that you set up in the display conditions so how do you set that up so for example i come over here select the widget come to advanced and under display conditions i only set and say that show this element if any of this condition is met and we use a url referrer so if the url that is wording that website visitor is having this url parameter or this other url parameter then this section will show up maybe you're questioning what's the best use case for such a scenario one if you're running like ad campaigns or if you are like offering special coupons for people who are signing up once they see your ad on facebook or from a certain website where they are coming from you simply just have to add that url parameter so you can just simply grab the url parameter from that referring page and you add it over here then this section or pop-up or coupon will always show up once your website visitor accesses accesses your website and that's why we are not able to actually view that section on this page over here another use case you can apply the display conditions in your elementor website is by probably wishing your logged in users a happy birthday or pass on a specific message at a specific date select this widget come to advanced display conditions it is only showing once all these conditions are met. One, the login status, the person is supposed to be logged in, the user role, the person should be an editor. So you can as well add other user roles over here by for example, clicking on author and then you add the author as well. And then a special date. So this section will show up for this user who is logged in on this specific date. So you can as well check that over here and set up a day that you want and over here you can set up a time zone so how do we echo these names to show up over here i simply just added dynamic data by simply adding a heading widget for example if i add this heading widget over here i click over here on the database icon i come over here to user info under user info you can set to choose to display the first name and then under advanced you can add before and after information so i already did that over here user information I added the user info i set the first name and then i added a before text which is happy birthday then i had to break that line then after the line i added uh, you are loved which is coming below here in a nutshell that's how you can take advantage of the elementor display conditions add them to your elementor sections columns or even widgets to be able to display unique and custom information to your website visitors in case you found this tutorial of value to you please let me know down in the comment box below if you have questions let me know as well if you like the video please give it a like if you are new here please go start subscribing have a good time and goodbye